Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. Check out this really cool Frank the Enforcer in a Whiskey Gator Shell Cordovan. Before we get to that one, let's take a preview of what's in the video today. Of course, we have that Whiskey Gator Shell Cordovan, Frank the Enforcer. There's a Garnet and Raw Shell Cordovan, Frank the Enforcer. A Dark Green Shell Cordovan, Frank the Enforcer. A Bugs Moran and Natural Shell Cordovan with an alternating color eight and color eight reverse interior and a Fat Herbie in color four shell cordovan and green shell cordovan. All right, let's take a closer look at this really special Frank the Enforcer. The whiskey shell cordovan itself is a little bit darker, a little bit more yellow and golden when compared to the natural shell. I'm noticing on this texture, it's starting to look a little closer into natural territory in terms of color. It is slightly darker than the natural. And I think what happens is when we impart or when Horween imparts the texture, it lightens up the shade a little bit, but we also get little bits of peaks and valleys of color. If you take a look at, at the valleys in here, they seem to be a little bit lighter on that texture, and then other sections are a little darker. I like how it's making uh, a little bit more pronounced character of color inside of that texture. I think this is a really cool Frank. In fact, when I saw this, I just said, wow. But I wanted to show you another piece of shell cordovan that I have right here. I have a customer coming by today to take a look at this one, but this is a intense blue shell cordovan piece with that gator texture on it. And this is a print that Horween does. So this, this is not a gator. This is just a texture that has been pressed into the shell cordovan. And I think it looks really cool. Again, we're seeing a lot of the highs and lows in color of the intense blue because of the texture that's been pressed into the leather. It compacts the shell just a tiny bit. And I think the parts that it does not compact as much, we're revealing a little bit more or less of the color. So it's almost making this intense blue a little bit more vibrant in terms of color. It's a little bit more aqua than most of the intense blue I've, I've seen. Horween can do this texture on any leather and we've been asking for special, unique pieces from Horween. This is one of my favorite textures. I also really like the Western texture that Horween does. Um, but what's interesting about the Frank the Enforcer, and the reason I brought out the whole shell here, is it's hard to see the full context of that pattern in a smaller piece like this minimalist card holder. If you take a look at the front here, we have some of those more wide scales of the texture and on the bottom of the back, these are a little bit more of those tighter bits of texture, a little bit more together. The reason I brought out this larger piece of shell is to give you a little bit more context because the pattern ranges. And this pattern has been modeled off of an actual skin and they reproduced that texture onto a metal plate that they've pressed into the shells. So you can see some of those larger scales on the left and then it slowly transforms itself into uh, more of those finer, uh, more circular shapes as opposed to more rectangular shapes on the left. So on a bigger piece like a fat Herbie, you would get a large context of that range of texture, which is really cool. It's a little bit more challenging to show that on something like the Frank the Enforcer. Up next, check out this Bugs Moran. This one is really cool. On the outside here, we have a really nice piece of natural shell cordovan. Check out the luster of that. It's almost like it blows out the camera because it's so bright and shiny. Very much a mirror-like finish on this. I really like the natural shells because it, I, I like a lighter color. Uh, more recently, I've sort of gravitated towards these lighter shades. But what's also great about a natural or any light color, like a whiskey even, is it gives you a little bit more ability to develop a dramatic patina. You see a bit more change in color on the lighter shades as opposed to the darker stuff. Like the black doesn't really change in color at all. But I love the interior of this and I love it for a couple reasons. And let's see, three reasons I like this. I like the randomization of the reverse shell cordovan where we get to see a bit of difference in color. And we also get to see these random dye marks all over the uh, reverse shell. And I just think that randomization is super cool. And the second thing that I love is it gives us a chance to show a Horween ink stamp on the reverse side of the shell. And the third thing is on the interiors of any wallet, I prefer the reverse shells because I like the way that they wear in a little bit more than shell on shell. Because when you fold this wallet in half, 
and you load it up in cards and you get a little bit of this movement back and forth, you will slowly start to scuff and scratch the areas where the raised letters and numbers of your credit cards are. And those appear on the leather. I find the reverse shell to be a little bit easier to fill in as opposed to the shell. So that's why I like the reverse interiors and combining it with some actual shell on the inside gives us a nice little contrast here. It sort of frames out the Horween ink stamp in the center. Now here's another really cool Frank the Enforcer. This is one of those ones that on paper, I don't know how excited I would be about it, but when I see it in person here, I think this is tremendously exciting. This is Garnet Shell Cordovan combined with some raw shell cordovan. And I like this look very much. I think the red and natural go really nicely together. And check out the back too. You got that raw on top of some of that garnet. And the garnet shell cordovan is the most red shell cordovan color that Horween makes. It's not like a true vibrant fire hydrant red. It's a subtle red. It's still like a, I put it into a brown category, uh, but it definitely reads more red than something like a color four or color eight, but it's a really nice subtle red that I like. And combined with that natural, I think this is a really cool look on the front and back of this Frank the Enforcer. Here's a dark green shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer. And that dark green shell is not often produced. So this is a rare color of shell Cordovan. And when I put it next to the these denim, and by the way, these are from a store here in Chicago uh, called Mild Blend. They sell a great, uh, range a great selection of different denim these happen to be made by 316 and i love these <laughs> so if you're into some denim uh, definitely worth checking out mild blend if you're in chicago they have an incredible selection of different denim from all over the world but putting this green shell on top of the blue really helps me show how much green there is in this shade and sometimes uh, the darker colors like the intense blue and green read as a little bit more black when you look at them on their own. So if I take away these and look at it here, it's hard to know that that's green, but there's something that happens um, when I put it into a different context here that makes that green really pop. And the dark green shells from Horween are a little bit more of like a forest green. That is very, very nice. I see a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, um, overtones and undertones pop out of this color. I think this is very nice. And the last wallet I wanted to show you today is my favorite wallet style, the Fat Herbie. And this one happens to be in my once favorite shell color on the right, the color number four shell, and paired with that rare green shell cordovan on the left, the dark green shell. I think that looks really nice. They're nice complementary colors together. They have a really nice prominent Horween ink stamp right in the center. That's really cool. And check out the outside too. The same story here where we have color four shell on top of the green shell. Let me give you a better look there. That is really neat. I like this combination a lot. And it's another one of those when I read it on paper that says color four on top of green, it's hard to visualize how interesting that's gonna look, but I think this one is very subtly cool. So I'm gonna have to say, uh, this would have been my stunner of the day if it wasn't for this Frank. The first Frank of the day, the whiskey shell Cordovan with that gator texture printed into there. I, I've never seen a Frank like this before and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So let me know what you were into for the items that we had in the video today. If you have any questions about different textures that Horween does, definitely let me know. It'd probably be worth my time to go over to the tannery and take some videos and photos of the, uh, the press, the embossing press that they have that puts in the texture for all these leathers. They have so many different textures. It might be fun for me to, to show you guys some of those. So until next time, I hope you have a good one and take care.